When you just look at John Creasy has written 600 books, you presume they just came out without any real pattern. But there was a real pattern to them. So if we go back to the earliest ones with the Toff, and the Toff was a private eye who had a lot of really great mates in the East End, Bill Ebert and his boxing club, and, and Richard Rollison, the writer Richard Rollison would join that. Um, and then he'd have his Aunt Lorna, who was Aunt Gloria, not Lorna, who was a gorgeous person, and his servant Jolly. Um, but there was very much in those days a kind of 1950s feel about what a private eye would be like. Slightly saint, but devil was able to put foot on the ground, or feet on the ground. Um, but then we lived next door in that house which we had to sell to a policeman, and the policeman said, John, why do you always write books about private eyes who get the better of policemen? And Dad said, you're right, I should. I should change that. So that's how the Inspector West series came around. And he wanted to make Inspector West different from nearly every other book that other people were writing about police stories. So he deliberately got them as a, an inspector in the police force who was a family man. And that's why Richard and Scoop, my brother and I, are involved in every story. And if you read from the beginning to the end of the Inspector West, you can see exactly what happened to us at that time. One book in which I'm knocked over by Scoop and my knees are great and I'm crying my eyes out and Mum rushes to it. That's written because Scoop did push me over and I did fall down and I was crying. And so we were involved in all those Inspector West stories. 